at UCH, what we like about Next Powder for are three things. Mainly, there's no clogging of the catheter because of the continuous airflow. There's a precise view for the defect area. And lastly, you're able to control the distribution of the powder. Because of the valve and the body spray, you'll be able to control the powder distribution. We mainly use it for endoscopic mucosal resection, endoscopic submucosal dissection, and for therapy for bleeders. It is important for us endoscopy nurses that timing is actually vital and the view for our endoscopic procedures is unblocked. You would agree that X powder will actually help you in delivering the service that this patient would actually need during bleeding or during therapy. I'm going to show you how we assemble it. Like all of your accessories, we always make sure to check the expiry date of our accessory. Next powder has three major components, which is the spray body, the catheter, and the vial that contains the powder. You connect your catheter to your spray body, making sure that the red valve is closed and opening your vial, keeping it upright, connecting it, to the catheter. Then you need to take off your film to activate your batteries and turn on the spray body. You need to feel the air against your skin or on your gloves to make sure that you have a continuous airflow. During procedure, the next powder needs to be turned on so that the assurance of a continuous airflow is being delivered towards the channel. Whilst being inserted, continuous airflow is being injected. That flushes the channel of the scope. As you can see, there is water being expelled from the working channel. During procedure, I highly recommend to use your non-dominant hand in holding the spray body and using your dominant hand in controlling the red valve. When ready, use your two fingers in opening the valve with 15 degrees angle increment. As you can see, the powder is slowly being distributed. If you need more, you go at 30 and more, more powder comes out. When you're done, you need to turn off the valve, completely close, and turn off the spray button. When finished with the procedure, next powder can be discarded into the yellow bin. However, you need to take off the batteries. In taking it out, it's easy to twist it. Remove the batteries. And discard the whole thing. Right to the bin.